everyone to a great Sunday night with the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan here alongside my colleagues Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Torres Burke will be joining us from the sideline. With the memory of their first round defeat to the Hawks, no doubt still fresh in their minds of the Orlando Magic, these two teams meet again here tonight at the Amway Center. Looking for the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks, brought to you by State Farm. Smith and Horford at the four and the five. What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mims, and I'm coming at you guys with my first Cradle Legend video. And a lot of you have been wondering who my Cradle Legend is going to be. And ultimately, I decided to choose Tracy McGrady. The reason being that Tracy McGrady was such an amazing player, and he's a prime example of a player that had his career derailed by injuries, which is very unfortunate and very sad. Now he's just a journeyman trying to get his first ring. And unfortunately, he's never made it past the first round of the playoffs. So hopefully that's going to change. Eventually, he was an amazing player. One of my favorites when I was younger. And we all remember the 13 points in 33 or 35 seconds. So I just had to do it with McGrady. Um, so the reason I chose this game as the first game I'm going to uh, show is because the Orlando Magic have a special meaning. That's where Tracy McGrady really established himself as a superstar. You know, a lot of people know he was drafted by the Raptors, but he became Tracy McGrady as he gets that nasty steal on J.J. Redick. He established himself as Tracy McGrady, the elite scorer, the player that will someday lead the league in uh, points per game in Orlando. And we all know he got traded by the end, uh, around the time Dwight Howard got drafted, so he never got to play with him. And um, you guys are wondering what's going to happen to Brandon James. Brandon James, I'm obviously going to show the rest of the playoffs with him. And um, I'll try to advance his career. You know, he has a story to tell and the story will be told. But um, right over here, you see me going to the post. I already told you guys I love operating in the post. And a player like Tracy McGrady a lot, gives me room to do that. So I expect me to operate in the post a lot with McGrady as the magic and a nice alley-oop. To Dwight Howard, what could I do for, uh, do about that? Mims to the rim for Dwight Howard. <laughs> but I'm um, right over here, and running the pick and roll, and he gets a foul and one, showing some flashes of the old McGrady, you know. Which is why I'm uploading this game because this is a game where Tracy McGrady starts showing his old self, his old colors again, and I think everyone wants to see that. You know, whenever I see an old player light, light a team up, I say, "Wow." I really miss these days where he was able to do that, and that just felt nice right there, that little step back from the post, but I always say uh, I miss the days where this player was able to light up a team, and that player was able to do this and do special moves and such. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. If not, I wouldn't blame you. But over here, I'm running the pick and roll with Al Horford, and I know somewhere my boy I'm Virus is smiling because his team is the Hawks, and I always hate hate on him for liking the Hawks because he hates on me for liking the Lakers. But I get the steal right there. The pass gets tipped by Jameer. No use. I get the ball. I'm driving it in. Nah, let's back out. You know, Dwight Howard's on me. So let's try to call him isolation. He's backing off pretty far, so I'm going to fire a three, but it doesn't go in. Al Horford gets the rebound, puts it back up. So if you look at the scoreboard, you can pretty much tell that Tracy McGrady's amazing scoring so far isn't doing much for the Hawks. Despite coming off the bench with 19 points, that's not doing much for them. So over here, you see he's trying to take it in, time running out. So he just has to pull up, step back, J, early release, don't matter, shot. Quality's a D, but he still gets it to go. So, <laughs> right over here, we're still down by 23, you know. So, I'm just trying to get the points, establish myself as an elite scorer again. You know, my my knees are no good, but and I might not be able to get up like I used to, but I can still operate in the post. I can still show that hustle and effort as Ho Johnson finds me open for three. Let's go. He's wearing those Brandon James shoes, you know, those... <laughs> those uh those b trains so um right o uh so right over here he has 24 points and right over uh, here i'm not i'm gonna show you unedited footage because he just goes off over here you know he scores about 10 points in the span of like a minute and he's just he's just being disrespected right here by jameer nelson so he pulls up for another three back-to-back -back threes 
And the Hawks are still down by 17. But he's just showing off right now. Just showing out. Showing that he definitely deserves to get more minutes. And even be considered for the starting lineup. And I might consider uh, asking for a trade from the Hawks. Depending on how well I do. Um, so right over here. He gets a James Shake to go for the foul. So I bet a bunch of you guys are pretty confused. Why is Tracy McGrady doing a bunch of James Shakes? And I'd be confused as well. But the thing that not many people know is over the summer... Brandon James reached out to Tracy McGrady trying to get him to come to the Lakers, but he found out it was a bit too late. Tracy McGrady already signed with the Atlanta Hawks earlier that day, and he was planning on announcing it later on. So Brandon James said, regardless, I'm going to help you. You were my childhood idol. You're the reason I decided to come into basketball, and hopefully one day I'll see you in a Lakers uniform. And he started working out with them. They start working out together. They're still really good friends. Tracy McGrady says that. They text each other every day. And apparently, I guess that's really good for his career because you can see so far he's lighting up the scoreboard as he gets a nice little post shot to go. But right over here, you start thinking, yeah, we have a chance to win, right? We only down by 13, but they sub me out for the rest of the game. It was a pretty good comeback for a while it lasted, but over here you could see my stats. 18 minutes, 31 points, 13 for 23 of shooting, 57%. And even Joe Johnson came in and got his tonight. But anyways, you guys, it's your boy Mim signing out. If you like this video, please thumbs it up. And let me know what you think about the series. I like reading my comments and responding to them.